Good morning and welcome to the channel guys, Bolts Garage, and today we're going to try a little cosmetic modification to the GSF by vinyl wrapping this L emblem and also the GS emblem there. And to see how it comes out, I'm not a fan of the chrome, we got to make it blend in a little bit, so let's get right into this video. To start off, always make sure this is prepped and cleaned with an IPH solution. I'm going to use some 3M adhesion promoter just to kind of get it on there so this uh, vinyl wrap doesn't come off. So let me apply that on here first. You don't need much of this. Just a little dab. Mainly the edges are the most important area. That's where you want the vinyl to stick and not be coming off. I'm using 3M 1080 series wrap. And what I've seen online is you basically overlay it over this emblem, heat gun it so you get this nice and pliable and then you kind of work it into all the corners and edges and then you cut off the axis. So we'll give it a try. Might have to do this a few times. We'll see how it comes out, but you know, trial and error is what you need to succeed. All right, let me get the L here. And we're going to hit it with some heat. And I'm going to slowly Start working this around the emblem here. So I moved you guys over to the other side so I could have a little more room with the heat gun to work here. So now we're going to fine tune this. Uh, honestly guys, people that work with vinyl, they got skill. 
they got skill, they got patience, cause from maybe 30 feet away, this might look decent, but up close, it's a disaster. So I think the next best thing that we're gonna do is just Plasti Dip it. Why not? Plasti Dip the GS so it's, it's black and call it a day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna attempt this again, but this time with good old fashioned Plasti Dip. So mask off the area, of course, so you don't get overspray everywhere. So we're gonna do the L emblem and the GS badge. So with Plasti Dip, you always give yourself a little bit of room so it could peel back. So that's what I did. Shake up the can well and let's get to spraying. Coat number two. Coat number three. All right, so we got four coats down of the Plasti Dip. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some Glossifier, one coat of this, to give it a little bit of that sheen so it's not just like a matte finish. So we're gonna do one coat of this, mask off some of this and let it fully cure, and then we'll go ahead and peel off the little areas around it. All right, so I let the last coat of Glossifier dry for about half an hour. So I'm slowly going to start peeling this back and the emblem itself, where the edges meet the paint, that should make a clear cut for the, for the Plasti Dip to peel off. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam, just like that. Wipe off some of this excess overspray. And there you go guys, finished product. Not terrible at all. <clears throat> the GS, this didn't come out as nicely. This I might peel back and redo, but let me see if I could clean it up a little bit. So I don't like how these ripples look. It's not a very clean break. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and what I will do most likely is either actually paint these, you know, take them off and spray them with actual paint or just debadge this GS and just leave the F. What do you guys think I should do? I like that clean look. No, maybe just the F. Who needs to know that it's a GS? Not me. But that looks pretty decent, so I'm gonna leave that right there. All right. 
Uh, since we're doing all this work today, we might as well just get rid of this GS and have a clean look, so bye bye GS. Alright, today's project video is complete. We got this Plasti dipped. It looks fantastic. I went ahead and debadged this and I prefer how it looks like that. F, the F. That's it. Nobody needs to know what else, what kind of car this is. Make sure you guys subscribe for the next video. We're going to attempt to tail light tint these bad boys with some vinyl film and we'll see how that one goes. Take care, subscribe and see you on the next one.